chance, the biggest one has got to be that the big burly man has to come along yes. when the woman, the little ladies did all the work in the kitchen, and the big burly man comes yes. along and carves nobody the turkey. Nobody else knows how to carve no the turkey. No one can carve the turkey. No. So no, women can do you this, right? What? Empower yourself. Get that knife <laughs> in your hand. I'm scared. And uh, no, a few tricks. Uh, you should. I mean, everybody should be able to carve a turkey. Uh, and the, the the most important thing is don't carve it at the table. Don't go. Don't go for that. Oh, don't one. do that. No, because you we know don't nobody do that wants anyways. to see that. Nobody wants to see that. No. And that way, if you make a little mistake, or maybe ten little mistakes, or maybe you make a huge mistake, mm -hmm. nobody has to see. <laughs> okay. A few <laughs> quick tricks. So the first thing is he has been resting. So after the bird comes out of the oven, you got to yes. let him rest for like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. So and very people think, sleepy. oh, it's going to get cold, but it's not because it's a big roast. There's a lot of bone in there. It's going to stay nice and hot. Just put a little loose tent of foil mm. over top. It's going to make it so much easier to carve it as well. Okay. And in that time, you're making your gravy, you're lighting the candles, you're doing the rest. There's tons of stuff to now, do. The next thing you do is you take a little piece of paper towel and yes. you get it wet. You see, it's not too wet. A little yeah, bit damp. a little damp. And you put that underneath your carving board. Oh. That way, it's going to actually anchor the board so that the board oh. doesn't. Man, what a Shake. little trick, I but that's you. so smart. I know, it's a good one. Very smart. So then you want to use a straight blade. So this is not a serrated knife. Right. Um, you don't want to get out the electric carving knife from 1979. <laughs> it's probably dead by now anyways. <laughs> this is just an ordinary straight, this is not even a carving knife. This is just my uh, chef's knife. Okay. But I do keep All it really sorts sharp. Of myths being debunked. This is a cool little sharpening tool. It just keeps a nice edge on your knife. You just run your knife your through fingers, it. Claire. It's I really, know you're used to doing this. It, this is so safe because what this does is it, it puts your knife in at the perfect angle. Okay. And so you're always getting a great sharp knife. And it just takes a couple little runs through there. How often should you be sharpening that knife? Every time you use it. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. just, uh, and then if you have something like this, you just put it in the drawer and you pull it out every time and it's okay. that much easier. Good now, the know. other thing is I don't use a carving fork. I find that actually makes the bird kind of rip apart. And do <laughs> does he do this? Then he does this little funny little <laughs> dance. Oh, gosh, I've had too many glasses of wine. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> don't let me carve the turkey. Um, I just use very clean hands, and you just use a light touch. Now, the, the thing about the turkey is this guy's got his legs uh, tied crossed. To, just crossed and tied together. We He's didn't trust polite. this turkey, um, and the, the legs will come off really nicely, and you can kind of just encourage them to come off with your hand. Right. But then the really fun key thing is that when you go to take the breast, instead of carving it like slice by slice, yes. take the whole breast off, and then you can carve it into smaller slices. So you just go right down the side of the breastbone. So just so we're all following here, mm -hmm. this is how you always start. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Let, yeah, let those and legs right just fall open, and then you okay. can see where the breast is. So you make one cut straight down the middle, yeah. and then you want to kind of go in at the side. Yes. And, you know, you can see how I'm just resting my hand on top of the bird, and that is a nice way to keep it secure. Is this so e easy even Tracy Moore could do it? Do you want to try it? Yeah, let's let okay, me do it. Go for it. I don't know so why I even said that out loud. What you're going to... Oh, I'm so proud. Okay, do I, should I do the other side? No, you want... Let's get that full breast off. So just where the... That's right in is there. Is that where it is? That's right nice in there. And then go in from the... Once you get a nice knife cut in there, go then in from the top. Okay. And sort of use the knife to push the breast away. Hey, away, Leanne and away. Frank, come Very in nice. here and help us. Very nice. And you see I mean, not Frank. We don't need your help, big burly man. No, but come in right. here anyway. <laughs> so I've, they're going to cut it off. I've already said, if you guys want to cut the turkey and serve it, cool. There you go. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to grab cool. the knife back from you yeah, very quickly. And I'll so just be licking my fingers. That whole breast just comes off. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is just slice it like this. Oh, that looks amazing. So now everybody gets a piece of skin and you can cut it thickly or thinly. Well, and we are ending the show now on the best note ever. Yay, Guys, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.